What's up, guys? Sarah the Taylor Slut here. I'd love to give you a reading for the Twin Flames. <clears throat> this, this table needs to be cleaned. I made myself a really nice lunch. Okay, I'm about to eat that. Got a beer. And I'm excited, but I'm feeling like doing this first. seems to be getting bad. It was so nice earlier today. I have to call my mom. I'm kind of procrastinating that. It's, uh, she's going to give me all this, um, all these details and um, I didn't yet tell her I quit my job and she's a Capricorn so she will not be happy with that. But she will also be like She's very psychic, like way more than me, so she already probably knows. Um, so both lovers are kind of balancing like multiple situationships right now, let's say. They're like getting in tune with their um, sacral chakra <laughs> or whatever. <clears throat> uh, working hard while danger looms. Uh, stepping into their highest power and balancing all of the elements within. So that's pretty cool. I'll leave those out in a reshuffle for the mask down here. It's the masculine energy is choosing love, like making a choice to move toward love, which is beautiful. I do see like at least three different options, three women or, you know, it doesn't have to be feminine energies, but I feel that in this card here. Um, definitely facing betrayal of some sort, recent betrayal, could be news of a breakup or news of a, um, a friend sleeping with an ex or I don't know. There's like the energy of some sort of like, you just got news of it, I hurt your feelings. Um, that's why you're moving away, but it's like the negative energy is here, um, focused on maybe the wrong thing. But there's like a ditching, leaving someone or something in the past and like moving your energy elsewhere. Moving beyond this, this could be past energy, but it's still in the present, um, still affecting the current energy. And we have the Four of Cups. So again, a little bit of pessimism, dissatisfaction. Not satisfied totally where you are right now. Wanting to move into this union energy, the beautiful um, Three of Pentacles collaboration with others. I feel a partnership, like you're going to team up to work with someone to move toward your passions in the King of Wands. There is some toxic energy, but that is ending. Okay, the influence of the devil is coming to an end. As you move toward this new beginning, I'm going to take all three of these. Changing your living situation or not loving the living situation you're in, but there's a new beginning here. Um, and it's you're, you're worried about how you're going to make your mark on history at this time. Focused on that. I love that. All right, that was the masculine here. I'm going to use a different deck for the feminine today. I'm going to use Everyday Witch. And we'll get shared energy from this deck too, to be fair. Really balance uh, in my readings whenever possible. I will get to the other zodiac signs this week. Um, Gemini's got to be first because um, I didn't. I just skipped them last time, and I uh, I've been really honoring the Gemini's right now because I literally went to a Gemini's birthday party last night. There were multiple Gemini's in the room. They were all like, "Yeah, Gemini's." And then also, I'm gonna be seeing my dad on Father's Day, and he's a Gemini. Is it his birthday? I don't know when Father's Day is. I'm going to be seeing him on his birthday um, for a family vacation here. And that's another reason I don't want to call my mom. She's going to give me all the rundown of that. And I'm like, uh, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I'm like, I just need to take things really one step at a time here. You see how many times I've been shuffling the feminines here. The energy's like that, a little scattered. Um, here we have shared energy first. Um, both of them in a Queen of Swords, really direct with what they want right now. Very clear. 
um, like being very honest as they go within and self-reflect on what their true desires are here on this planet of Earth and having the patience to change their environment or change their mindset or even their physical, um, I don't know why I want to say physical appearance, like some of them might be even changing the way they look a little bit just to um, be more authentic to themselves at this time. And feminines are tuning into love, Ace of Cups. That's really beautiful. I feel a lot of self-love too as they walk away from an emotional situation of the past that didn't fulfill them. Taking the money and running. Uh, same as the masculine Ten of Swords. That's wild. So they're both facing this Ten of Swords energy. It's coming up in both decks. Um, either betraying each other because it's coming on both sides or they were both betrayed by someone. Um, and that left them feeling very like in a weakened state. But now she's moving forward in the Page of Pentacles, um, which is like an Earth energy. It's very grounded. It's making practical moves toward your future success. And uh, she's also in the Five of Cups, same as the Masculine again, where she's focused on the wrong thing, like kind of in a negative mindset. She needs to just turn around and see what's still on the table there for her to enjoy. There is some secret moves she's making in the Moon energy. Not telling everyone her plans at this time. I'm going to level up to the Knight of Pentacles soon. Um, leaving the devil and all this drama in the past. I feel she's secretly moving away from this chaos energy. This wants to come through too. Um, it was to do with like a third party situation or a work situation. Or something. Someone who just didn't prioritize her. And she's like done with that bullshit. Because she knows her worth. And she knows her value. And she wants love. She wants reciprocated energy. Um, she was overthinking her own joy for a while here. But she's finally like, hey, I'm good on my own. If I can't get this, I'm like going to chill by myself because I'm not going to give my energy to someone who's not giving anything back. You know, that's the vibe. Speaking of truth about that, how she wants love um, and financial abundance, which has kind of been a struggle position at this time. But I feel like opening her heart will lead her more to that abundant state as well. I'm about to eat some lunch. I love you guys.